Hello, everyone. This is Bill Noble from Token Metrics. Welcome to our ongoing series, Long Term Price Predictions. Today, we're doing Ethereum. Where will Ethereum be, maybe at the start or near the end of the next cycle? In other words, if you've got a hodl or you want to hodl like it's hot, like one friend of mine says, what will you get? If you put up with any near-term volatility, the Ethereum long-term price prediction. Now, we're going to begin by talking about GAN cycles. William GAN was a technical analyst in the early 20th century. He was very into seasonality, numbers, angles, a, a lot of different things that you don't often see in traditional TA. One of his big big items for long-term prognostication was the 45 month cycle. Gan was really big on, you know, 45, 45 degree angles, etc. So this is from our previous video, which you should check out on Bitcoin, where we start at 2010 and break Bitcoin down into 45 month cycles. Now in this particular video, our conclusion more or less was that Bitcoin was going to take off right? And start being parabolic again in 2024 around July. But for variety, we're going to do something a little bit different with ETH. Okay. Since ETH started in 2016, there are only two 45 month cycles. Okay. The first one ended in February of 2020. You might recognize that as the, the start of the major launch of ETH, DeFi, and, you know, altcoins and crypto in general. So interesting that the launch point for the last cycle was right at that 45 month time frame. And you're like, oh, wow, that's interesting. So when's the next cycle started? When's the next ETH cycle? Well, the next ETH cycle starts in 2023, one year almost before Bitcoin or I don't know, six, seven months. So November of 2023 is the start of the next big ETH cycle where you would expect ETH to maybe build up some steam for six or eight months like it did last time and then go. So this is really interesting, right? Like, hey, you know, ETH could maybe start moving or at least base and get ready to go before Bitcoin goes. So we took it another, we took it one step further, right? We took our GAN analysis one step further. And we started with the two most important dates in ETH history. Okay. That's the 2018 bottom at, you know, around 80. And then uh, March of 2020, the COVID bottom around the same level. So one thing that GAN work does is it combines price and time and dates. Okay. And we're going to throw in a little something extra, a little speculative date, right? Since this is being recorded in December of 2022, we're going to put in what I believe is uh, a key time date, right? The winter solstice right around Christmas of 2022. And what are we going to do with this information? Well, we're going to input it into something called the natural squares calculator. The natural squares calculator uses something called the square of nine. So it's a complicated arrangement of numbers and, okay, it combines dates and time. So when we use the most important dates in ETH history, I come up with three GAN levels for long-term rallies. I have something around 8,500. The second one is around 9,470. And the last one, standalone 18,700 for moon boys out there. Token metrics has a price prediction tab on its website where we have scenarios where we look at where total crypto market cap could go that goes across the top row. So that's anywhere from 500 billion to 10 trillion. And then we have, you know, market cap dominance for the coin anywhere from 8% to 80. Now this gives you a list, a table of numbers, and you might be wondering, gee, that's nice, but 
which numbers should I look at? Well, that's why we did the GAN analysis. We came up with three numbers and we're going to take those numbers and we're going to look to see where they appear on the charts, where they appear on this chart or table. And then we're going to make three scenarios. So we're going to get, we got bold with the GAN work and now we're going to take the token metrics work and eliminate the guessing. Okay. By making three scenarios and then stay tuned. Don't go anywhere because we're going to reveal which scenario we think is relevant and why. Okay. This is going to be different from what we did with Bitcoin. So in scenario one, ETH is near 8K. So that was like a GAN level with 3 trillion total market cap. So this, this scenario assumes that in the next cycle, total market cap does not go above the high from this cycle, which was roughly 3 trillion. Okay. And that scenario, ETH is at 8K with 32% dominance. Ugh. Right. So if ETH is 32% dominance and the market cap is only 3 trillion, that means it's kind of like, you know, ETH is like the only thing left, right? Like ETH is like the layer one that everyone uses and ETH is also money. It sort of like leaves out Bitcoin altogether. So I think our friends out there who are Bitcoin maximalists are not going to like that scenario. And it doesn't seem very fair to crypto to assume that in the next cycle, they will not be able to take out the market cap high from this cycle. Scenario number two, you've heard about it. It's the flippity, or at least that's what we think. So that's ETH near 10K with 5 trillion total market cap with ETH dominance at 24%. So as of the recording of this video, ETH is at roughly 1300 with the dominance of 16%. Well, ETH's at 10K, market cap is 5 trillion, ETH dominance is at 24%. You know what that sounds like to me, other than a whole bunch of numbers? It sounds like the flippity, right? ETH at 10K with ETH dominance higher with market cap, you know, at 5 trillion, must mean ETH overtakes Bitcoin. So that not only means ETH going up on an up move more than Bitcoin, but it could also mean if the market corrects in that environment, Bitcoin could go down a lot more and ETH would hold. So that's the flipping, right? Now for scenario three, there's ETH at 13K, total market cap sky high at 10 trillion. So the whole world's on the blockchain probably including equities, but ETH dominance remains at 16%. ETH dominance remains where it is now, but the market cap is massively higher for both, you know, ETH and the total market. So what would cause total crypto market cap to go to 10 trillion? In other words, what if the whole world has to switch to the blockchain for money, investing, everything? Why would that happen? Right? Why would everybody just say, oh my God, I, I got to have ETH. Oh my God, I got to pay with Bitcoin or whatever. You know, what would cause total crypto market cap to 3X what it did, you know, last cycle? Well, there's only one answer in my mind, and that's a crash in the dollar, right? In other words, when this video is being recorded, everybody is losing faith in other fiat currencies like sterling, the yen, and the euro, but you only get 10 trillion total market cap and 13K ETH with a dollar crash. Matter of fact, we've done statistical work that shows the way to get 13K ETH or 12K ETH is with a much lower US dollar. So some people look at the dollar index, DXY, however you want to look at it. So last time, you know, when we did Bitcoin and we did other videos, we didn't assume a 10 trillion dollar market cap. In this case, we threw that up there as a scenario. Scenario one, man. Scenario two, the flippening. Scenario three, the dollar crash. Now, since meh is meh and the flippening is consensus, the winner is scenario three. Scenario three, right? ETH at 13K with 10 trillion market cap. The reason this scenario in my mind is the winner is that ETH can go to 13K. And according to our table, if ETH is at 13K, you probably have $10 trillion market cap, especially since dominance is staying the same. If you're an ETH moon boy and 
even if you're not an ETH moon boy, then 16% ETH dominance seems to make sense, right? Because it's not assuming ETH is any bigger than it is now versus the market, but we're assuming the market is a lot bigger with ETH leading. So it's ETH as the leader as the dollar falls apart. So that is the ETH long-term price prediction combining token metrics work and GAN. We hope you enjoyed the video. Please check out the other videos in this series. Like and subscribe the Token Metrics YouTube channel. I'm your host, Bill Noble. We'll see you next time.